Hey guys, my name is Blake, and in this video we'll be installing simple floating shelves in my wife's salon. They only take a few screws to mount on the wall and are very customizable. Be sure to stay until the end of the video because I'll be doing a stress test just to see how much weight they can hold. If you guys enjoyed this video at all, please hit that like button down below because it would help me out a lot. Nailed it! The first thing I like to start out doing is cutting the length of each shelf. Here I'm using a 2x10 board and each of my shelves will be about 5 feet long. In today's video, I'll be trying to use tools that I think most of you would already have. That way you guys can still do this at your house without having to buy too many items. That being said, to complete the project, we'll need a few supplies, a 2x10 board, a 3 8 wooden dowel, 3 half inch long screws, and some sandpaper. As for our tools, we'll need a handsaw, drill, stud finder, level, tape measure, small Craig jig, and a sander. After we get the board cut to the length that you want, we can start sanding everything down. After your sanding's all done, it's time to paint or stain your shelves. I tried putting some lacquer on mine, but my wife preferred the raw wood look anyway, so I'll be sticking with just that. This is the wall I'll be installing the shelves on, and to first start out, you want to measure how high up the wall you want the shelves mounted. Next, find the studs in the wall and place some tape over them or mark where they are with a pencil. Now hold the shelf up on the wall and mark the center of the stud onto the shelf. Now take out your Craig jig and set it to one and a half inches. If you don't have one, I'll leave the link down in the description. Make sure you line up the drilling hole with the mark you just made. I set the Craig jig to one and a half inches just to give the shelves a little bit more support since they're so wide. I also won't be drilling in all the way because I want there to be enough wood to hold the weight of the screws without cracking. This is what it should look like at the end, and now it's time to do the other holes. Now just lift up the shelf on the wall and screw in one side. Once you have that, you can put the level on the board and screw in the other side. Here are the screws I'll be using. The Craig jig comes with a 2.5 inch screw, but I decided to get the 3.5 inch screws for more support. They seem to work a lot better than the other ones. Since we use the Craig jig for this project, we have some holes. And this is where the wooden dowel comes in. The 3 8 dowel slides perfectly in place after twisting and pushing it in the hole. After it's in, we can simply cut it off with our handsaw. Give it a light sand and it looks pretty good. You can also paint or stain this whatever color you want. Now it's time to see how much weight these can hold, so I'll be pulling down on this crane scale as much as I can. I have mounted a hook under the center of the shelf. In some other tests I found on YouTube, I saw a lot of people were putting the weight at the back of the shelf, which would obviously make the shelf look a lot stronger. Keep in mind, I'm not the biggest guy, and I only weigh about 125 pounds. After doing this, I felt pretty confident that they would hold another 50 pounds or so. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and let me know how it went down in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos just like this. My name is Blake, also known as Nailed It, and I'll talk to you guys later.